So welcome students. In this question you are given that you are dealing with binomial trials where n is equal to 5. So you have 5 binomial trials where the probability of success in each trial is p. And the probability that you have at least one failure is greater than or equal to 31 by 32. If that is so, what is the value of p? So probability of at least one failure is nothing but 1 minus probability of no failure is greater than or equal to 31 by 32. This implies probability of no failure is nothing but probability of all successes. Probability that x is equal to n, probability of all successes, the number of successes is equal to n, is equal to, so this is probability of no failure is same as probability of n successes is less than or equal to 1 minus 31 by 32. That is less than or equal to 1 by 32. So where x is the random variable which denotes the number of successes. So now what is the probability that we have all successes? What is the probability of all successes? That is ncn into so all successes, the probability of success power n is less than or equal to 1 by 32. So ncn is 1 and n is equal to 5. This implies p power 5 has to be less than or equal to 1 by 32. This implies p should be less than or equal to 1 by 2. p should be less than or equal to 1 by 2. So p belongs to, p belongs to 0 comma half. So you can think it as, think of this as open 0 or close 0 doesn't really matter because if p is 0 then this will be valid this will be equal to so at least one failure will be equal to 1. So you can also use closed also. Thank you.